When you're building parts in SolidWorks, it's best to build the major features first and then minor features after that. So we've put down the base plate, we've put down the two circular bosses, and now we're going to need to put in some ribs and then holes and then fillets. Fillets should always go last when possible. Let's get started with the ribs. The rib for this boss should be easy because we already have a plane that goes through the part right where we want the rib. So select the right plane and click on the sketch icon. Let's draw a line that picks up a relationship to the edge, but don't get the midpoint. This is not a real edge, that's called a silhouette edge. Make a short horizontal line and then come down with the cursor and pick up a coincident relationship with the flat face of the base plate. Apply a 45 degree angle. The small flat should be a quarter inch. And if we click on this line, there's three dimensions we can place. We can place the aligned dimension, the vertical dimension, or the horizontal dimension. Let's place the vertical dimension, make that one inch. And from here, we want to make a rib. So we'll go to the Features tab of the Command Manager and select the Rib tool. The Rib tool, I'm going to set to a quarter inch in thickness. And I want it to be a mid-plane or both sides thickness. You can set it to one side or the other if you need to. I'm also going to use draft with this particular feature. And notice that the arrow is coming from the angled line. I don't want this. I want the draft to come down from the top line. And I want it to draft outward. The flip material side is pointing in the correct direction. It's pointing in the direction that the rib is going to add material. Rib has two modes. One mode where you sketch it from, say, the side view, and another mode where you'd sketch it from a top view. We'll show one of those later. Click OK to accept the rib. Now, the rib under this boss is going to be slightly more difficult because we don't already have a plane established to sketch on. So what I'm going to do is use my hide show items and view the temporary axes. And I'm going to create from my reference geometry dropdown a plane. SolidWorks allows you to create a plane from three references. You don't always need three, but sometimes you do. In this case, let's make the plane go through the temporary axis in the center of this part and make it perpendicular to the top face of the base plate. That fully defines our plane. Click OK. And now we have a plane in the feature tree oriented correctly to put a rib underneath this part. Open a sketch. To sketch in the rib, let's use a line pick up the bottom silhouette edge of the cylinder and the top of the base plate. Let's create a dimension from the end of the boss to the top of the rib and make this a half an inch. And again, from the silhouette edge to the line for the rib and give this a 45 degree angle. Now let's apply a rib feature to this. Notice the material direction is going the wrong way, so we'll click Flip Material Side. In this case, we cannot apply the draft from this angled line. We're going to have to apply the draft as a separate feature. So we'll establish the thickness as a both sides thickness at a quarter inch, and click OK to accept the rib. Notice that SolidWorks fills in all of the material all the way back to the standing boss. Let's create the draft now as a separate feature. So click on the draft icon on the features command manager. Set the angle at one degree. The neutral plane should be the top of the base plate. And the faces to draft should be the two sides of the rib. And click OK when you're ready to go. If you look at this, you'll notice 
that this edge has remained the same and the distance between this line and this line has been reduced somewhat. That's due to the draft. Now we want to create some hole features, but this plane display is getting in our way and also the display of the temporary axes that we didn't turn off earlier. So to turn off the plane, we can just click on it and then click the eyeglasses. To get rid of the temporary axes, we can go back to the hide show items and turn off temporary axes. Notice that planes can also be turned off from the hide show items list, but this is a universal toggle for plane visibility where turning the plane off in the feature manager just applies to a single plane feature. We will continue this project in the next movie.